this is about four frames of these. Not a lot. They're not crowded, but the box is light. So okay, they're relatively gentle, they're not responding to my motions. Well, we'll get some syrup on them and being the, the last couple of days in January, they're doing just fine. I don't want them to run out. They're light in, in their stores. So um, if we go through a cold snap, they could consume a lot of honey very quickly. So this is just uh, like insurance. Okay. These, these other hives, this one's being fed, this one is not, because this one has enough stores. They're heavy. Without even opening, I know they have plenty of food. That's the side. This is the side that the hive got robbed. All this mess right at the front of the, the, the hive. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's no activity. So if you open the hive, you find nothing. And the cells, the honeycomb cells, are usually... I was feeding them pollen patties and they didn't consume the patties. And the honeycomb, the cells are just ripped open. They're not open smoothly and cleanly. These girls didn't have enough food, and then they got robbed. They were weak, so they were being fed. So it was a weak hive, reduced entrance, and they still got things out. So, okay, it happens. They didn't have what it takes to survive. New bees taking their first flights. You notice all these bees are facing the hive? Uh-huh. That's what we call orientation flights, or happy flight. If you'll watch, you'll watch one bee come out Follow that one bee, it'll face the hive, and then it'll fly around in front of the hive, facing the hive, learning where, you know, the, the hive sits and the, the landmarks and what it looks like. And then it'll land again and go back in. Those young bees, could be a lot of young bees taking their first flights. It typically happens between 10 and noon in the morning. Huh. Those, so those bees, the eggs were laid for those bees um, probably four to five weeks ago in the end of November, early December. Oh, here, watch. A bee comes out, turns around, see, comes out, turns around, faces the hive, and flies around the front of the hive. Walks out. Let's get a better one here. If they're gonna forage, they walk out and just take off. They're newbies, they walk out and they turn around, face the hive. Sometimes they walk up on the front of the hive and then lift off. I just saw one do that. So this is the only accuracy in the movie B movie, is that they kind of go to first day orientation. <laughs> There's one other thing too. Mmm, <laughs> I can smell nectar in the air. These girls are working on some kind of plants. I pick up the back of the hive. It's oh, geez. it's really heavy. So these bees have plenty of food. Actually, I might need when I put tomorrow. I might find that they need some room for the early next. Year. With a torch, pretty much any fuel. You know, five or ten seconds, and you're good to go. Half a box of bees gets a half of a patty. A full box of bees gets a full patty. And I cut the patty into pieces to make it easier for them. More surface area for them to work on. So there's not a lot of activity on these two, so I'm guessing they're small clusters. I just guess that each one's gonna get a half of a patty. 
given a small cluster of bees too much food stresses them. I'm just trying to give enough food for just those bees. I'm not trying to give them food for a whole box of bees. If I do give them all that food, they'll work really hard processing it, but that overstresses them. box has some weight to it, so they have food. There's still honey in this upper box. These girls are doing fine. I see bees right up at the top. There's two possibilities. They're either, they've consumed all their honey and they're right up against the ceiling, or they're growing so fast they're getting crowded inside. There's honey in this box. What was the tape for? Um, this hive was weak in the summer and it was a target for robbing. And the bees from other hives could get in this notch right here and they could have gone in and robbed out the honey. But I taped off this hole so that the robbers had no access. And it still has a box full of bees and they still have their honey. Although this box of honey is not very heavy, it still has some weight to it. And not a big cluster of bees either. I was weak going into going into the, the winter. You expect them to be weak coming out of the winter. There's no sense in giving a couple of frames of bees you know, more food than they need for just for just those bees. There's some brood down in there. I looked down between the frames. In a couple of weeks, that population will double. Then they could use a little more feed. Because it is a diseased hive from last year. I have to wait until they're strong enough and then put them on all new equipment because they have a contagious disease called the, American foul brood. Why are you letting them so close to all the other hives? They're not so close to all the other hives. Oh, so it's okay for them to be 15, 20 feet away? Yes. They won't spread it? Yes. Research has shown that, that hives, you know, diseased hives, um, right next to other, other hives, rarely spread the disease, unless that hive dies out. And then the other bees will rob this hive and, and clean it out and take all the honey to back to their hives and spread that disease to all the other hives. But I treated them for their American foul brood because it was too late in the season to transfer them into new equipment when I realized they had it. And they've overwintered happily. It looks like a healthy bunch of activity at the, at the door. Probably in uh, oh, maybe five or six weeks, maybe in eight weeks, I'll put them into brand new equipment to shake them all in like a swarm.
what it's like, almost empty. Not a lot of bees. They were weak going in. They're still weak. Frame is mostly honey with some fresh nectar coming in. And there's still a little honey left on this side. Pollen, nectar, honey, and as I see eggs, there's tiny larvae in the middle of the frame there. So these bees are already cranking up for the spring. Here we have cap fruit and eggs, larvae, nectar. These bees are looking good for January. Now this frame came from the middle of the brood nest where it's the warmest. I'm not going to keep them out too long though. Looks good. They're clean right. They're busy raising babies. Yeah, if they don't have a queen, they're 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 louder, they're running around, they don't have no brood to take care of. Um, they're not happy bees. They're roaring a lot. The whole hive has a loud buzz to it, usually. This was the weakest nuke going into winter. So, weakest nuke coming out of winter. This frame is light, it's empty. This frame is really light, it's got a little bit of honey on it. Mostly dark bees here. There's a big queen in the middle of this frame, right here, and she's the mother of all these bees. It looks like she's been laying eggs. Her abdomen is big and fat, and so she's in egg-laying shape. And I'm looking in some of the cells, and yeah, I see eggs. So they've just started to crank up for the winter, I mean for the spring. They're going to be about two to three weeks behind the other hives in growth. There's mold up here because there was no no exit for the condensation. See, there's moisture here. Mm -hmm. This is all condensation from the bees. The warm, moist air coming up and condensing in this cooler place because there was no exit for, uh, notch for this for that air. Looks like a healthy 
healthy hive, top box looks and feels heavy. It's almost full. And hive is mostly full. So for a hive this side I would usually give one full pollen patty. And I'll give them more room. Probably do that in another week or two. I'll give them another box to throw into. Probably maybe two boxes. I'll put a box underneath and a box up above so they can grow both directions. This one is a tiny bit of activity, not much. Two bees. This is a deep box, mostly honey. There's nothing going on in the lower box. Do you know how this hive was doing going into winter? It was in the winter. It was going into winter. It was packed full of bees. Two deep boxes. Upper box mostly honey. Top super with mostly honey. I, I didn't take it off. Didn't need it. This box is empty. Take a peek in the middle frames here, where there's a, a handful of bees. Look for a queen. Maybe they don't have one. a handful of bees eating some honey. I don't see a queen. I don't see any eggs. But they act like they have a queen because they're nice and quiet. There's a queen. She's right here. She's not laying eggs. She's not big enough to be an egg-laying shape. But there's plenty of pollen here. But I don't see any eggs. Well, we'll leave them alone and see what happens. Why would she not be laying? Um, not enough bees to keep her warm enough. She'll only lay eggs if it's 92 degrees. So what they really need is more bees. If this were someone's only hive, what would you recommend? If this was someone's only hive, they don't have much of a chance. It may slowly build up, but there will be next very, very low chance of any honey production. They might never even fill this one box. But because this is my hive, if I find a couple of hives that have a lot of bees, I can give them a couple of frames of, of brood. And those bees will have, you know, help fill this box with nurse bees. Mm. I'm just going to leave this just like that. Raising drones already. Look at that. Drone cells in the middle. That's abnormal. And there's queen cells. Huh? Is that abnormal? It's unusual in January. Maybe these bees don't like their queen. 
Every cell that's not cut capped has larva in it and royal jelly. You start seeing drone cells come a little later on usually. End of February, not end of January. Okay. Starting off. I'm guessing these, these, these don't have a queen. So. Right to this frame here. There's no be nothing going on in any of these frames. Uh oh. What? That one has drone cells. Uh oh. What? The other one. Ha the next frame has drone cells. These look like they were robbed out. They've got um, lots of pollen. Nice. There's some drones walking around that have already hatched out. There's some queen cells. Open, old, old, opened queen cells. Right here. That's an open queen cell. And these, there's more empty queen cells, and those are all drones from laying workers. So this is a hive that has laying workers. They have no chance. They're completely done. They lost their queen for some reason and they failed to make a new queen. Sorry girls. That happens at the wrong time of year. The hive fails.